cross you up, it's almost time to say it loud Last summer I was just another person in the crowd Now I'm losing sight of greatness and I'm laughing while they hating There's no need to chase the crown cause it's already been taken Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we have episode nine of the Jeff Samarja Connected Careers. Uh, year two weeks, fourteen through seventeen. This is the last few regular season weeks of the season for the Seattle Seahawks and Jeff Samarja. So the next episode will be the playoff episode, or actually no, I believe this is weeks uh, eleven through four, or ten through thirteen. So never mind, scratch that. We do have one more regular season episode before this. I apologize for that. So, getting into the second half of the season are the Seattle Seahawks and Jeff Samarja looking pretty good. We're 7-1 and one going into these four games. So, probably going to try and make a push for home field advantage or so. But, anyway, as many of you know, the NBA 2K13 demo has come out, and I'm actually downloading that currently as I do this commentary. <clears throat> I was out all last night, which is why I wasn't able to get a video up yesterday. So, I'm doing this commentary actually Wednesday morning, which is the day this video is going up, and I am downloading the demo currently, so I was out all last night, I went to the Red Sox game, and then hung out with some friends and got back really late, so I didn't, um, just didn't want to, you know, stay up too late, because I don't have school today, which is Wednesday, it's, it's a Yom Kippur, which is a Jewish holiday, and I don't know, my school just gets that day off for some reason, I guess, I don't know, there, there are some Jews at my school, so... I mean, it's all it's all fair and it's all groovy. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, not want a day off of school, but I don't know. So anyway, that's why I don't have school today. You're gonna be seeing two videos today. The one that was supposed to go up yesterday, which actually uploaded it, and uh, I had a private it. I just never publiced it. And by the time I got home, I didn't want to public it because it was so late. So I decided that I would just uh, do it later today. So that video will be up already. And then this video will go up probably around like 4-ish or something. And then I'm, I might live stream today. I'm not really quite sure. I'll post the video on my channel if I do decide to stream. I might stream the next week of the Tennessee Titans Connected Cruise because I have to record that. That video will probably go up on Sunday. So we'll see. But anyway, you can see there Jeff getting the touchdown there. We are giving it to the San Francisco 49ers here up 44-3. to That would turn into 45-3. to but the game is not over yet. Third and three. Flynn drops back, finds Samarja over the middle. Just picks up a short little game there. Just tacking it on. Picking up the first down. That would really ice the game for us. And still just throwing for the hell of it. Because I don't know, why not? We're playing this, the computer. No mercy for the computer, you know? So it's not really a big deal. But anyway, we end up winning that game. 45-3 to on all Madden, as you can see there. Always on all Madden. That's just how I roll, dog. But anyway, getting into a game against the St. Louis Rams here in the... Uh, what's the stadium called? I can never remember. I think it's the... It's not like the Lewis Dome. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what their stadium's called. I apologize. But anyway, playing the Rams in St. Louis and trying to take it to Cortland Finnegan here as he... I think he's still covering us. I remember had a bit of a battle with him, but... Anyway, Cortland Finnegan's a cool dude. So, you see catching the ball over the middle there. Picking up the first down after breaking two tackles. Ton of yards there. Picked up about 50, not 51, 31 yards. And now running the slant. We're actually going to take it into the back of the end zone for the touchdown. And I think I might make a tips video when I'm done with this Jeff Samarja Connected Cruise. Because there's this episode. And then I think there's just really two more gameplay episodes. Then I'm going to make a... Recap episode of all his career stats and such, kind of a year to recap. And then after that, I might make a tips video on how to get open as a wide receiver. You know how to do well in general. I mean, I don't mean I don't mean for that to sound like I'm trying to brag or anything. But I mean, I, I've gotten pretty good at this wide receiver thing, and I really know some easy ways to get open. Knows how to beat the no ways how to beat the cornerbacks and such. So I might make a tips video. I definitely think that it would be a good one. I think it would help all of you if you're doing wide receivers out there. But anyway, we're down 33-21 to 21 here. We need a quick score if we're going to stay in this game. We convert the fourth and two, but we would end up losing 33-21 to 21 to the St. Louis Rams. So we fall to 8-2 and two now on the schedule in the standings, I should say. And here we're going to Cleveland, facing the Cleveland Browns. Already not 13 nothing at the end of the first quarter. See some margin picks up his first catch of the day. Now 14 seconds left, beats the press coverage there, beats Joe Hayden, end up gets a second catch, picking up about 12 yards there. So here's second and two, midway through the second quarter, Samarja picks up the first down on the short little gain there. Nice play, picks up about seven yards. 
And now Samarja is going to come back on this curl route, makes the catch, and pick up a few extra yards, pick up a 15. So Samarja looking good so far in the first quarter, looking good on this drive especially. And he's going to beat his man on this little fade route, make the great catch, keep his feet inbounds, and we end up cutting the lead to 13-7. to And now 135 left. Samarja over the middle, first down, Jeff Samarja. And what I might do for the playoffs is I might live commentate over it and cut that up. I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. I'm not really sure. We'll see. But I think that'd be a cool idea. I'm going to put all the playoffs in one episode as I did last time. So the series is only going to end up being, I think, like 12 or 13 episodes. But that's fine because, I mean, I'm already way farther ahead of anyone else in their player connected careers, or at least anyone that I know of. Because two years is actually a lot to do with the player connected career, especially considering the mode isn't really that much fun. To be quite honest, I don't know, at least for me, wide receiver wasn't that much fun. But anyway, down 34 to 10 here. Wow, we are getting destroyed by the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. Now down 41 to 13 somewhere, just still going strong, running those slant routes that he does so well. I like to run slant routes when the coverage is backed off, and when there's a press coverage, I kind of like to try and beat him and go deep. And if I find that I can't beat him or go deep, I cut back across the middle like I did right there. Usually with some, just a couple tips, right, like right there, that I would give out in that tips video. I feel like this commentary is all over the place, but oh well, one last game here. We fall to 8-3, and three. we're going up against the Dallas Cowboys, we're in the neon greens, and we drag our feet there to pick up the first down and gain a 14. Nice throw by Matt Flynn. And here's Samarji going out to the flat, calls for it. It's going to pick up the first down on third and seven. So good route, good throw, good overall play by the Seattle Seahawks. Now here, we got that press coverage. We beat it, but we see the safety is in the zone, so we're going to cut back across the middle and pick up the first down. And now, first and ten, we see when we get that two wide receiver set on the left side, I like to, because usually the guy on the left, nine times out of ten, is going to run a slant route. So I like to almost make an X and run a fade. And you can usually get open like that. Here we're going to beat the press, go deep, end up catching this one, and we're going to run into the end zone for the touchdown. We go up 21-14. to 14. All kinds of records will be set today. Matt Flynn is going to break the single-season passing TD record, breaking Tom Brady's old mark. And now we're going to cut across the middle here. We're going to get tackled and call timeout with one second left. So smart play by Samarja there. We would end up missing the field goal, however. So Samarja is going to cut across the middle here, pick up the first down in a little bit more. 142 yards already on the day, and now cutting across the middle on a slant route. First down, pickup of 13 yards, or 12 yards, actually. I don't really know. It, it could go either way. <laughs> but anyway, pick up a six there, going to set up a third and four. And now later in the drive, ball on the 31-yard line. Go and up for that one, catch it, and we pick up a first down there. So ball on the five yard line. You can see the stats from the two quarterbacks there. We end up getting a field goal. So it's 24 to 17. We're going deep. We catch this one. We we're going to be brought down. But a great catch by Jeff Samarj as usual. And now with the score 24 to 20 in the fourth quarter, we had a quiet second half. We're going to cut, make this one last catch. And that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I'm out. Peace.